Hey everybody, this is Ron Moore, and it's long time no play Solstice for the NES. Yeah. Talk about a game I haven't played in a long, long time. I mean, probably it's just like one of those games is like Soul Dees and Fax Anadu that have a game they haven't played since like whoa, he's it by Timothy Follin. I'm sure we guys in the comment on this video. Um, this game I like haven't played since like maybe uh, 1993, I think. Maybe about 15 years or so. So yeah, and uh, a real challenging puzzle game from, from what I remember. And uh, pretty good music. And if you listen to the music right here, yeah, this is Timothy Follin right here. Right there, a little bit of Target Renegade music right there. <laughs> and so here's the opening storyline right here. Princess Eleanor has been kidnapped by an evil wizard. Princess Eleanor is mine! Mor Morbius, please! Ha! Ha ha! She is too loose her soul that I now become. Nah, I ain't gonna read this in time. That I may become. Thank freaking text. Okay. Uh, well, you can pause the video and read the story on for yourself if you want. Okay, let me re-familiarize myself with these controls here. Oh, yeah, this this song is awesome right here. This music, song, whatever you want to call it. Okay, well, I died already. I got killed by a green ball. <coughs> Out for the Green Goblins. Dun, 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 dun. Awesome music. Oh, watch out! Whoa! Dang, watch out for the Green Ball! Oh, no! Oh! Look out! Oh! What's this? Marble Madness? This doesn't like Marble Madness. If you think about it, I mean. Oh, man! I keep dying already. I uh, see, yeah, this is a hard game for I remember. Freaking hard. Yeah, it looks like, this game looks like Marble Madness. I don't know what company made, oh yeah, I think, uh, was it Milton Bradley that made that game? Ugh! Dang it, let me go through the door! How many lives do I have? God has died like four times in the past minute. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, come on now, I went through that door! Well, that's it, I'm out of here. No, I'm just kidding, uh... No, I guess by the length of the video, you knew I was joking. But, uh... Yeah, I got pwned pretty quickly. Yeah, this game is freaking hard. I've never gotten that far in this game. And I never really liked this game. But, you know, it's one of those games I have vague memories of, and I should give a second chance. This song sounds like it's already chopping slow, so I don't think it makes sense to do it <laughs> again. Uh, to, uh, to actually chop it slow. Oh, come on! I was making good progress probably uh, progress there good moves and freaking pwn myself dang freaking goblins what is this might and magic what are these things finally all right oh man what oh 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 all right okay I think you can pick up these items right here well, how do you pick them up? Well, oh, okay, both A and B. Well, uh, well, that'll help either. Go over here in this door. go all right ah uh, let's see here whoa what the heck did I do whatever I did it was pretty cool and it was also a waste of time because I can't go any further there so let me go through this door uh, watch out for the spikes over there All 
tried. We have the key. We have the elusive blue key. If I don't talk much during this video, I think it's because I have to freaking concentrate so hard. So another reason why I don't want to talk is I want to enjoy this awesome music. Oh, purple and pink blocks now. No, don't stop going in that room. Get the purple block. Okay, that was a waste of time. Come on, you're a wizard. You should be able to float or something. Hey, the wizard and Nightmare... When you're a wizard and Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES, you can freaking float. Oh, dang it. Freaking green ball of death. Green blob, watch out. This ain't Zelda. Alright, hurry up. Oh! Alright, made it. Uh, going to circles here now. I gotta see a full walkthrough on YouTube because I really want to see through this whole game and man this game is freaking hard. This probably what Harry Potter would be like for the NES. <laughs> Time now to come in here. I already got the elusive blue key. Well, heck, I pretty much don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I can proceed any further in this game. I mean, what's the point of getting up here if you can't go any further? I don't get that part. I'm sure there's something, but I just don't know what it is. go through here again. <laughs> Back where I started it. Watching, could y'all tell me what to do? Cause, uh, cause I don't know what to do. Now, um, let's see here. Uh, well, I don't hear you. Come on, what do I do? Y'all talk to me. Not nah, like you can talk live through the video. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, okay. Let's see. Well, yeah, I'm hopping around like an idiot. I'm desperate over here. I don't know what to do. I guess trying to exhaust every possibility. I feel like I'm playing Simon's Quest now. Been through this room like for the thousandth time. Ah, stop going in that key room. it um um well uh i'm in i'm interested in checking out this game some more um i mean again this is not the first time i played it it's just been years and years i remember not liking it i guess because it's too hard but you can't hate a game because it's too hard unless it's just ridiculously hard to where it's stupid like uh what i remember batman forever for the sega genesis um but this is game seems like it's good challenging hard um, yeah, so I encourage you, if you haven't played this game, give it a chance. If you love puzzle games, I'm sure, uh, you, you might love this game, uh, especially the music. Music so far is pretty cool. Alright, guys, that is it. I am out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.